there guys, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last part, we came here to the Isle of Songs and learned through War's Courage. And so we can use that to open a trial in Farron Woods, and in this part we're going to be doing exactly that. So let's head back over to Farron Woods via this giant stream of light bursting through the clouds so that's not raising any suspicion to any of the Skyloftians, or whatever they're called. That makes sense to me, at least. I don't know how they don't care or raise any questions about these giant beams of light just going through the sky, like, oh yeah, no, it's just part of my life. Giant beams of light? Life? Lights? Giant beams of light just coming out of the sky? Creating barriers in the cloud? Or breaking the barriers in the clouds, I should say? No, creating. Ah, no problem here. Nothing out of the ordinary. But anyways, before I get off on a brand where I make a whole bunch of stutters, let's just go ahead and head over to Fairwoods. Still not a fan of flying too much. And since I recorded this, well, not recorded this, what am I even talking about? I'm recording this right now! Uh, since I last recorded, not the last episode, but, you know, the three-month break. I actually played Wind Waker, and I gotta say, I'm not sure which is more annoying, the Great Sea or this, because the Great Sea at least has things to do on it, but also, the Great Sea is also... What? That tiny bird just hit me and slightly damaged... That doesn't even make any sense. Um, the Great Sea is humongous, and it's kind of annoying to get around, I gotta say. After playing most of Wind Waker, I can't find the Triforce charts. I don't know why, I'm just struggling with that like an idiot. But, oh wow, I didn't get any of the bird statues, so we're gonna have to start the forest temple, which is nowhere near where we need to go. On that note, I think I'm gonna be cutting to where we need to go, which is way back before the deep woods. So either I'd have to start at the sealed temple, or I don't care. Yes, there's a trial gate here, you told me. Stop being such a handholder. So I'm gonna have to head back across the deep woods, so I'll meet you guys back when I'm over at the other side. On second thought, there actually is one thing I need to show here. Whenever you see a whole bunch of blessed butterflies, if you take out your harp and just strum it back and forth a few times, a Sheikah stone will come out, and he'll usually just drop a treasure and then give you some sort of hint, much like in Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Actually, did they do that in Ocarina of Time? I don't remember. I know for a fact they did it in Majora's Mask. Because I remember them telling me something about cat eye, or however you pronounce it. I'm sure people know what I'm talking about. The guy with the purple hair, who gets turned into a kid. Hey, I missed a chest the first time I see it. What's inside of it? I'm gonna guess the 20 rupees? Yeah. Okay. 20 rupees. Certainly good. Those are Deku Hornets. Horn <laughs> yep, bad at speaking. Forgot. My bad. Uh, those are Deku Hornets. We can't get those ones, but we can get some over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. I know we saw them beforehand, but I couldn't get them at the time because I didn't have a bug catching that. And they are used in tons of potions that I'm gonna be using in the future. Well, really, there's only one potion I ever use, but they're used greatly in it. So if we just get a few of these, we can find out again what they are. Well, actually, this is first time, so I guess it's forgivable, but... I have to get back used to these stupid telling me what treasures are every time I start up the game stuff. Oh god, they're taking off all my health. Uh, there we go. We'll just kill a Bokoblin. Man, that feels pretty good. And actually what we need to do here is simply shoot down the hornet's nest because this, uh, where'd it go? Ah, there we go. The hornet larvae is actually pretty useful in building stuff. Oh, apparently we already have one, but that's good because we do need two to uh, make something that I wanted, which I don't even remember. Maybe it's an upgraded shield. Or maybe it's a bigger net, something like that. There's something I want to make, and we need tons of horned larvae to make it, so... Anyways, I'm gonna cut back to... Never mind, you know, I was gonna cut, but... On second thought, where we need to go is actually just right over here, so... Might as well just come straight over here. Without cutting. I have unlimited time, might as well. Let me just interact with the statue really quick. Examined. Okay, great. Now we can drop into here. Which is good, I was really stupid. And I don't know why I didn't look at any of these. 
Really stupid on my part. But anyways, over here, I'm gonna get some blessed butterflies really quick. And yes, we have seen these before, and I have caught them, so I don't know why it's retelling me about it. You insist on doing that every time you catch a bug when you restart the game. Or... <sighs> With treasures. I know I've talked about this earlier, but it's something really annoying, kind of like the friggin' rupees in Twilight Princess. Only part I really hate about Twilight Princess other than the owl statues is that. But anyways, all we need to do is not talk to Fee. Wrong button. My bad. Take out our harp, and just strum it while staring at the ground. And a blue BP logo will appear with a triangle in the middle. Something here is reacting to our performance of Furore's Courage. I have confirmed the appearance of a strange mark on the ground. Thank you, Fee! I didn't see that! I calculate a 90% possibility that this mark is a trial gate. As mentioned by the goddess statue, we heard from the Isle of Songs. Thrust your sword into the center. Oh my god. The hand-holding. Everywhere. Only thing I don't like about this game. I literally like everything about this game but that. Literally. Everything. I don't care for the Lanai Mining Facility, but it's still better than this. Freaking hand-holding. But anyways, we've entered the trial of Fairwood Woods. I do like the music in here, it's pretty cool. Master Bieber, as expected, I cannot follow you into this realm, for this trial calls to your mind alone. This is the nature of places known as Silent Realms. They are domains of the spirit, accessible only to the goddess's chosen hero. This particular trial for Roar's Silent Realm tests the limit of your courage. Your spirit has temporarily separated from your physical body so that you may undertake the challenge. To reach the location of the flames that will enhance your sword, it is necessary for you to overcome the trial and undergo spiritual growth. Oh god, inside of me. You got the spirit vessel, it's a lot like the... Tears of Light Vessel from Twilight Princess. In fact, it's pretty much just a direct ripoff, except with a flower at the top. When this vessel is full, blah blah blah. You've seen Twilight Princess before. We have to get tears again and fill the vessel with it. Really creative, Nintendo, just ripping off the last game. Oh well. Doesn't matter to me. She's explaining it here, and I'll explain it later, because I can do it a lot simpler and without freaking hand-holding. But pretty much, there's 15 tears, you gotta collect all of them. When you take a step outside the circle, these guardians of the realm will come out and try to kill you. Or really just stop your soul. If they hit you, one hit, they kill you. You can't fight back against them, you have no shield and no sword to fight against them. And you have to collect all of the tiers. But when you collect a tier, um, I think they are stuck in place for like 60 seconds, I think it is. And there are also these pearls around here that uh, show beacons over these tiers, and those are pretty useful too. And that's what you're going to find in the Silent Realms, as there are three of them. We got a tier for Roar, and actually it does 90 seconds of that stuff. Grab these pearls as well. They're called Light Fruit, I guess? Uh, they look like pearls to me. And they put beacons over these tiers, so it makes it a lot easier. Although, there are two things that will void completely the 90 seconds in this area. One of those being those lantern ghosts that we saw earlier. If you get stuck by one of their lanterns, or get touched by it I should say, then um, they guardians will immediately wake up. But here's a dusk relic, which is pretty much like an amber relic, but it's purple. You can only find them in silent realms. So, it's good to pick them up. In fact, it's good to grind for them, really, because you can't come back to silent realms, so... By the way, if you touch any sword of the water, or any part, any sword, brain, 
Um, it will also wake up the guardians because it's called waking water. I'm sure they explain that if you touch it or come close to it or something. By the way, those light ghosts will actually follow you if you come kind of close to them. Which is why they can be annoying. And the flower, as it deteriorates, gets closer to the zero seconds and it represents a 90. I don't know exactly how to read it, but you know it's there. So might as well. Uh, let's move out of the way of that. I don't want to land in the water. Oh, gosh, he's going to explain it. Well, I suppose it's not bad for first-time players, but for me, I don't really care. The unusual liquid substance that covers the area is known as waking water. The LP here just talked about it, and I don't know anything, so let's just keep talking. Ugh, my god. I'm really not a fan of this hand-holding stuff. I'm sure nobody is, but, you know, I have to express my disapproval. Because goddammit I have the right to- Oh, I forgot, the tears also replenish your stamina, so they kind of are like stamina fruits. But not quite as useful. No, oh, I mean, they are pretty much more useful. The exact opposite of what I just said. Because you need to collect them, and they give you an item- Oh god, this is gonna be bad. See, I got caught by a lantern ghost there. So these guys are all going to chase after me. And uh, as soon as I get one of these tears of furore, they'll stop, but- the worst thing ever to happen, and I've had it happen twice, and I've actually made it back safely once, um, was I got the last tier of light, and then I accidentally ran directly into a lantern ghost, and I've had that happen twice, and I had to make a complete run for it back to the area, because that's what we gotta do after we get all the tiers of light, that circle that we started in. We have to make it back there safely after collecting all 15 tiers. But we'll get to that in a little bit, so... Uh, let's just climb over this rope safely. This is where a piece of heart was that I got. So it is kind of a hint there. As I do put the beacon over it. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I'm safe and fall right over here. Okay, good. Uh, there's a dusk relic, but I'm not gonna try for it. And they put waking water and a tear of light right here in front of this guardian, which is pretty dangerous, but whatever. Um, another one over there. And this is the only easy silent realm. I remember. Actually, I didn't die on the third one, I don't think. The second one, I got stuck on. It wasn't the third one. I don't remember. Let's just drop this. That seems like a good idea. Ah, yeah, there's a quick route back to the start there. So maybe that tier of light is good to get last. It's good to get ones that are actually close to last, because then you have a very short path back to the circle. Which is a strategy, and Fee will point it out to you if you fail like three times or something. Because I had that happen on one mission. I wonder if this is the one I failed a lot. There was one that I failed like four times and I felt like a complete idiot just doing this my first time. It might be this one, it might be the next one, it might be the third one, because there are three. One in each area. Ooh, good timing on this. There's waking water there and it just rises and sinks. And the last tier is over here, the farthest one away, so we're going to have to make a sprint back. And hopefully make it. You've collected every last tier for Aurora. Beaver's spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the silent realm. And then they put a giant beacon over that so you know where it is. Alright, now we just need to make it back really safe. Let's go Metal Gear Solid on this. Oh no! No, this would be a horrible time. Get out of here. It's really bad if you run out of stamina when running away from those guys, because then you're just pretty much screwed and you're going to die. Uh, I don't really need to pick up those anymore. I just accidentally did. Okay. Now I need to find that path I created. Uh, I think it was over here. Or was it? No, it wasn't. Uh, well, I did come from this way, so I suppose this is a quick route back. Or a long route, who really knows? But I think we'll be safe. This first one's not too hard. This first Silent Realm, I should say. And all of this just for one treasure. I mean, it's a pretty good treasure, but still. Oh god, if that guy gets me, I'm completely royally screwed. Oh no, I think we're gonna be fine. Now I can just lazily walk back to that circle. <laughs> you got the Water Dragon Scale! This sacred gift left by the goddess grants you the power to explore underwater and even execute a spin maneuver. It lets you swim. We needed a scale to learn how to swim. I don't understand the logic either. 
Don't worry, it's fine. Don't question it, just go with it. Oh no, it's the Kiki Queeze. Oh crap, I need to prepare for their voice. Congratulations, Master Bieber. You have passed this trial. You now have the power to proceed to the location of the first sacred flame that will enhance your sword. The Water Dragon Scale is one of the goddess's sacred gifts. The Great Spirit of the Water Dragon has provided you with the ability to swim freely underwater. The flame you seek is somewhere within these woods. Master, I must conclude that this flame is likely in a part of the area you have not explored. Ah, good to know. But, we will continue on in the next part and talk to that Kikui. Oh, by the way, there's new enemies here. These big fat Bokoblins, but we'll get to them in the next part. Actually, do I have a bottle really quick? Ah, no, I don't. Well then, I'm just gonna keep not stalling and, uh... Wait, I am stalling. I'm just making things worse. Let's just end the episode. Bye, guys.